Okay, welcome to this um, MySQL uh, basics tutorial. Um, in this video I'm going to cover the four main um, queries, most commonly used query types, queries, whatever you want to call them. Um, those are select, insert, update and delete queries. Um, this database that you see on the screen at the moment I have just set up. Um, I've called it mailing list and I've given it a table users. Um, I'm not actually going to make a mailing list, well, I might do at some point, um, not in the immediate, immediate future anyway. Um, yeah, so this, I'm just using this database for the purposes of this video. Um, I'm going to be executing the SQL via this SQL tab in phpMyAdmin. Uh, basically when you click on that you can type in a raw SQL command or thing. <laughs> um, and it will just execute it like that. Um, I'm going to be editing the SQL in my syntax highlighting editor. I've got it set to SQL as you see. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get started. Um, the most ba uh, start well, we're going to start with the select query, um, of which the most basic form is just select, um, then a column name like user email, and then from. Um, then the table name, which was users, and that's it. If you run that, like so, that will return a table of results um, with one column, because that's all we told it to return. Um, yeah, so it'll return as many rows as there are results, uh, values, rows in the table. Okay, so that's the absolute basics of the select query. Um, you can add more columns like so. Use a first name as our second column, well one of the columns. Um, and this will return a two column table. See now we have two columns, the um, email and the first name. Um, obviously you can run these from PHP, so the sort of same query syntax applies. Oh, yeah. Um, you can use the where clause or part um, function, I'm not really sure what they're called for MySQL, um, the where, I'm going I'm to call it clause, um, to sort of specify the rows that you want. Um, for example, I could do where user first name equals Bob, because that's one of the ones we had in the um, table. So if I just run this, you see that we just get this single row with the user's first name is Bob. Um, that example is not particularly use particularly useful, um, but there are there are cases when you will need to. Usually, you select uh, something based on the ID, um, like a blog post or a comment, specific comment maybe, um, a file. If you've watched my um, temporary file hosting tutorial series. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for the select query. Um, one other quick useful tip is that if you have a long, if you have like a long query uh, with a lot of functions, not a lot of functions, a lot of columns being selected, then it sort of makes it a bit easier to read if you sort of use this syntax, separate things out to new lines. Um, so I'll have the select query, the select here, the select keyword, and then indented a list of columns. Um, and then the from keyword and the table and the where keyword and the um, condition. Oh, um, one other thing, to add more conditions, like in PHP you would use the double that sign. Um, in MySQL you just use the and keyword. So I would do this on a new line like this. User last name equals person. Spelt wrong, never mind. If I just copy that and go to our SQL tab, paste it in. You see we get no rows because that isn't one of the rows in the database. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the select query. Um, moving on to insert. Um, I've covered this in a few of my videos so far, but I'm just going to mention it specifically here. Um, syntax for insert, well basically what insert query does, it adds a new row to the table. Um, syntax for the t uh, insert query is insert into table name which was users then you specify the columns that you're inserting into uh, like user first name user last name user
user email and then you use the values function I suppose it is uh, like so values um, and then here you give it a list of values um, to be inserted a list of rows um, if you're just specifying one you just usually do it like this um, oh I have to think of a name my name Oops. spelled right oh my god that's embarrassing okay good um, my last name so, and my email address, which I won't give you, um, nothing at website.internet. So if I run this query, um, we should see a new row added to the table. Let's hit go. You see we see one row inserted with the ID of four that it automatically generated. If we browse the table now, we see my new row that I just inserted. Okay, so that's pretty much the insert query. Oh, you can add more um, more values, more rows. Um, I would usually do that like this, and so into the stuff at the top as normal. Then on a new line, it's a comma-separated list of um, sort of these bits. So you can like that would add five rows. You don't want that for the. You don't want the um, comma for the last one. Um, I could just run that. Let's see. Yeah, if I just hit go, you see five rows inserted. Uh, the last ID was nine. If I browse the table now, you see there are lots of me. So you can add more rows with a single query. Um, okay, update. Um, this query is used to modify data in a database. Um, syntax is quite a, well; it is fairly similar to the others. Um, basically, you do update the table name users and then you do set and then the columns equal to the values um, fairly straightforward um, so let's just set um, user first name equal to um, difficult um, um, how about let's um, Alex um, okay, so I'm going to set the user first name to Alex, where the user first name is equal to Bob. So this should change the username for Bob to Alex. One row affected, and we now have Alex in the table where we previously had Bob. Um, the other information remains unchanged, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, a similar um, thing as before. Usually, for if you want to update a lot of information, um, you would separate it out onto new lines. Then you would obviously have your list of other columns here, other columns, other yeah, other columns. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the. Um, update query. Notice we're using the same where clause as before. Um, you can use where on um, up, up, uh, insert, no not insert, you can't use a where, on update, a where you can't use a where clause on an insert query because it just doesn't make any sense. You can for the other three is what I was trying to say. Okay so that's that pretty much covered. Um, next is delete. This will remove a row from a table. Um, so the syntax for that is delete from table name and then that if you run that it'll delete all the rows um, I think I haven't actually tried that I'll try it at the end maybe um, delete from users where uh, let's say user first name equals me so this should remove those nine rows uh, that we inserted before so not nine the number of rows to so get a confirmation. Uh, six rows deleted. If I just hear that, you see we're back to the original table almost. Um, yeah, that's removed the rows where that condition was met. Um, just quickly say a few more things about the where part of the query. If I just do a simple select um, user email, no, let's say, yeah, user email from users 
where user email like, this is a new keyword again, um, basically you can specify a string using a wildcard character which will match any character at all, um, so any length, so say if I specified um, wildcard dot com this would match any email addresses that end in dot com uh, of which there are two so if I just run this you see we get those two email addresses back that ended in dot com um, same syntax applies you can like do more conditions um, so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial I just wanted to go over that uh, quickly uh, there will be following this a sort of advanced um, query tutorial, sort of. Uh, we'll int introduce functions, joins, and temporary tables, maybe. Okay, uh, oh no, let's just try delete from users. Will it empty the whole table, or will it say you need a where clause? Who knows? It empties the whole table. I was sort of right, I did guess that. Never mind. Um, I'm just also going to go ahead and drop this database. Um, there's another query. Drop database, another query thing. It destroys the entire database. And there's my list of databases. Okay, thanks for watching, and hopefully this will be useful to some people.